Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think the title of this video will be uh, My Pursuit of Mediocrity. I might even call it My Happy Pursuit of Mediocrity. It may seem uh, like a strange title, a strange concept. Bizarre, even. Uh, m most people uh, think, and in, in th all the self help books, uh, they write about the opposite uh, pursuing excellence. Uh, uh, my conclusion, and I, I came to this conclusion quite a long time ago, I'm 66 years old now. Uh, but it's probably been five or ten years at least that I realized uh, five or ten years ago that uh, when, we, when we pursue excellence or let's say champion status in, in anything, whether it's uh, uh, you want to be the the, the best or, or um, one of the best, the most excellent in uh, accumulating and acquiring wealth. Or you want to be the best athlete, uh, the, the champion of your, your sport, uh, or just uh, someone that's considered to be the best or, or one of the best in your uh, career choice. It comes with a tremendous cost, being a champion, uh, being really excellent. Um, I could even apply this to uh, uh, Christian ministry work. Um, it's, it, it's very, very typical that if someone pursues that level of excellence, that uh, some other part of their life it has to suffer. Let's say if you wanted to be uh, the, the very best athlete in a sport, well, first of all, you, you probably have to give up other sports. You have to really focus on a single sport. You can't divide your attention, your, your, all your effort and time. At, at, it can't be divided. It's got to go into one thing. And not only does it have to focus on that single sport, or we could apply this to a, a subject, a, a subject of a study, a subject of interest. Uh, in order to become the authority, the, uh, the most excellent in the field, you, you must focus like a laser beam on this one thing. So all other subject matter has to be set aside, and, uh, and uh, all other um, uh, things that would, would require your time have to be either completely abandoned or, or your, your time in those things must be greatly diminished. Because if you're not putting 100% of your effort into it, uh, that the person who is doing that likely will ex uh, excel above you. And uh, you're not the champion. You're not uh, the top of your field. Because the person who puts the most effort into it is likely to uh, be rise to the top. So what happens uh, if you do that? Well, you may be, become... Uh, a champion in, in one respect, but it's it's so common, it's almost a, a cliche. Uh, it could be a, a proverb about the person their their the rest of their life suffers because so much effort was put into this one pursuit. And the concept, uh, the opposite concept of moderation in all things. Uh, many people accept this as a, uh, a healthy 
attitude. Um, but those people who uh, decide rather than moderation in all things, but to to focus like a laser beam, um, excessive, uh, compulsive uh, uh, kind of focus on one thing. Uh, there's a trade-off. You may achieve great success in this one endeavor. You, you may become the best in the world. You may become the best of all time. But what happens to your uh, relationships with your, with your spouse, with your children, with your friends? Uh, it has to suffer. Because the time that could have been spent with them has to be set aside and, and uh, either completely discarded or greatly diminished. Um, there, are, there are some very famous theologians and pastors that put so much time into their, their um, pastoral work, their uh, study of theology, and that uh, their preaching, their evangelism, Whatever it is, so much time and effort went into that that their their marriage failed, their, or, or, or at least the quality of their marriage wasn't there. It was just a, a, a shell of a marriage. Not not uh, because your 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 spouse, the time that you would normally spend in, in, with your spouse, is uh, is uh, suffered. And your children. Your children never really get to know you. The relationship with your children is, uh, never develops because all your time went into pursuing this excellence in this one field. So um, I, uh, you know, I have pursued uh, various things in my life. Uh, I've been interested in a, in a lot of different uh, things. Athletics, uh, uh, study of various uh, uh, other other subjects. I've had other interests besides theology, which is the, the subject that you may know me for, because of this YouTube channel, Sin City Preacher. It's a it's a uh, uh, um, a YouTube channel that focuses uh, primarily on Christian evangelism. And then more broadly on uh, theological subject matter, a wide range of theological subjects. Uh, so, <clears throat> in that respect, I've put a lot of time into it. But uh, I've also put a lot of time into other endeavors in my life, and I've had uh, successes. But I, I've I've never um, reached the level of Excellence in any of my uh, fields of endeavor I'll never reached the top where they, people would say he's the best in the world, he's the, 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 the best in his field. <clears throat> uh, but I, I realized that uh, I was not willing to put that kind of effort into the one thing because I valued the other things more. Uh, my uh, relationships, health. Sometimes uh, people succeed so much in, in a study of a subject or in a career that they end up being very unhealthy. Maybe their, their lifespan is greatly shortened because they neglected their health so much. So I, I hope that uh, what I'm really trying to tell you today is that uh, Balance in life, I believe, is more important, more valuable uh, than, than um, excellence. Uh, we need to learn how to budget our time in our life, um, give the proper amount of time to study, to work, to uh, our health, to our relationships, I'm probably forgetting some things that uh, you know deserve some of our time and attention, 
but we need to have that balanced. And that way, I believe that uh, we have the greatest uh, health in, in, in all things, rather than being a champion in one thing and an uh, absolute failure in all the other parts of, of our lives. Um, took me many years to, to learn that, but uh, my conclusion is, and the way I live my life now, is a very happy pursuit of mediocrity. I'd like to get your, your thoughts on all this. Look forward to your comments. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.